Guys, here we have it, man. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. This is, of course, the preview of probably one, pro probably the biggest game of the of the weekend. This is Liverpool against um, Arsenal, and yeah, Bobby Firmino. I'm still not sure whether the guy actually he walks through into the heart of that Arsenal defense. One of the weirdest goals I've ever seen in my life. You know, it was a goal like from the playground, but. This is a new day, a new season, and so forth. Um, Liverpool will go in here as favourites. Liverpool are demons at Anfield. This is a fortress. Um, but Arsenal have a chance. Arsenal have a chance. Is that chance good enough for them to win? I don't know, but they but they do have a chance because I think this is going to be maybe an improved Arsenal. But let's just look at the setup right now. So, as we see right here, your boy, um, Alisson Wondland, he's still out. With, I believe, it's, the, it's a calf injury. So, I think the defense pretty much speaks for itself. You've got Matip, the big boy, Van Dijk in there, Robertson, Trent. But obviously, as we go a bit more into this preview, is are, are these guys going to play a high line, a deep line, or so forth? Um, so, possibility of a Brexit midfield. Now, this is the, the proposed lineups going in here. And I'm thinking that maybe you roll with an ox because I don't... I don't see any reason why you should you see the reason why Klopp may go here is because of the potential dangers that Arsenal's transition from midfield could give them. So I think in a Henderson and a Fabinho, these are guys who, especially in Henderson, can cover here, here, here. I think Milner is very good at covering and really offering much more support. So you it's almost really more like this, really, where, you know, Milner may come in there, Forbidden may, may, may come in there, but really, it's really Henderson, who's the central midfielder and the guy that connects with these three over here. So, maybe that protection is of the dangers that Arsenal have, but you could argue that... Um, you could argue that you could probably bring in an Ox in here. Because I feel that Henderson can definitely do the cover work with Fafabinho and Ox gives Liverpool much more of a threat to test because I think for Klopp you need to test that defence. You are stronger at Anfield. This is where you've got a, a, a great record so I don't think there's any... Say Brexit midfield is for if Liverpool are playing away from home. Playing at home, I think that they should go with, with a bona fide attacking midfielder in an Ox playing centrally. Not out wide, playing centrally and really driving forward with, with the ball. And of course you already know What's Mane, Salah, and Firmino can do? You know, this is the definitely guy that Arsenal have to watch out for. So, going over to the um, setup for Arsenal. So, of course, you've got Leno in goal, Luis, Socrates, Monreal, who I believe might be going to Royal South, your dad, your boy, Mikla Niles, in there as well. Um, now, the midfield. See, I'm impressed with Gen Genduzi. I think Genduzi has definitely improved for, for Arsenal. Um, and this is the key money. I think Xhaka should just remain here. I, Xhaka is pretty much useless here. He ain't that proficiency because he's, he's, he's technically inept. But I think Xhaka is a very good dis destroyer and should be there to really protect the, the midfield. As, as to with Genduzi, but I think really what Arsenal wants are both Genduzi and Thebaios operating in that midfield there with really Thebaios being the guy advancing. Genduzi in that grid moving forward. It's the best moving forward. Now, what is going to be... This This is where Arsenal definitely win the game is how can they bring in these these these, these boys? How can they bring in Oba? How can they bring in Lacazette? How can they bring in Pe Pepe? I'm very interested to see what Pepe does because Pepe, this is the, the new guy. And what kinds of ideas can he bring in and how can he test that defense off of Arsenal's? Um, so, sorry, off of, off of Liverpool's. And this is the key to Arsenal, is how these two combine. Um, I still say that as of right now, we're looking at to see what Marshall and Rashford can do. They, for me, are the best strike partnership in the Premier League. And I think that we've not even really seen these guys play to, to their brim. I think they've really touched the surface of what they can do. But let's just go back to the Liverpool thing. Now, what Liverpool did against Norwich, and I think what they, they may be trying to do is... And this is just me. I don't know how Klopp is going to play. Like, if Liverpool have the, the ball, you have Robertson right up there, Trent right up there, and then playing a nice high line because they want to win the ball nice up and early. So if it's so the, the danger here, which is what Norwich got, was that ball over the top over to Trent. I think Robertson is much better defensively than Trent. Trent is better going forward. But is that left hand side? So when if you go back to Arsenal and that left hand side. Lacazette, 
And I think if Lacazette can get that ball over the, the top and can really win his one-on-one battles with um, Trent, I think what Emery wants is how he can cut in from the left. See, since this is why what Arsenal really needed was a left forward. And not only really left forward, they needed a left-sided wide man. Lacazette's, Lacazette is really a, a central striker. And if you play him out wide, he's gonna be he's, he's gonna be an inside forward. He this isn't his, his 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 game. This is his game. This is his game. This is not his game. So really to exploit that um Trent's thing of Liverpool playing a high line, Arsenal really needed this. But with Lagazette out there wide, and he's smart enough to really know to how to cut outside, how to cut inside, and really make good distribution with the ball to bring in an Oba or a Pepe. But where Liverpool have to be very wary. And what they have to be looking for, and this is where Gendouzi has to come back, is they, these two guys have to really help out both Niles and Monreal because Mane and Salah can, can get that ass. <laughs> Mane is on one. Homeboy is on one. And Salah is now really getting into that whole Robinesque of like, if you give it to me in my sweet spot, I will deliver to you. And that's why I, I mentioned this by Firmino. This is what will cause... Arsenal issues is Firmino dragging guys away, getting the ball out deep. So let's, let's just put these guys back a little bit back here now. Um, what is going to be problematic is where Firmino picks up the ball because what Firmino does is he will want to drag out the Arsenal, the defenders, and because he's smart, he knows how to pick up very dangerous positions. And as soon as Firmino gets, gets the ball, Salah is in, thing is in. So they are both making those diagonal runs in and Firmino is very good at picking out those passes in, in between. So it is going to be very important that Luis and Socrates are very aware and they and they talk to one and one another because if they have a lack of communication, Liverpool will, will get that ass. Liverpool will get that ass. So I'm very interested to see what the Bars does in this game because it's definitely a much tougher game than Burnley. It's 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 probably going to be one of Arsenal's toughest games this season. So, is how well can Sabahs control the ball, keep the ball, and utilize the ball, and bring in Pepe and Lagazette and Oba into the game, you know. Um, for Monreal and Metal Niles, I don't think they will be that effective going, going forward. Um, I think Arsenal's key is through the center. Whereas for Liverpool, which is what will make them so dangerous, is that they can get that ass out wide with Trent's great delivery, Robertson's balance on the ball. They can get that ass straight through the middle through Ox. They can get that ass through the, the, the centre with Mane, who really can go out wide, go in the middle. Salah, who cuts in inside a lot more. And Firmino, who is... He's, he's a false line. He's, he, because, see, the difference here is... For Arsenal Emery, you want Obama and go always there. And the key thing is feed him the ball. Get him that through ball. Hope that you can get Liverpool to play the high line so you can get that ball over the top for Oba to run onto to give Van Dijk and um, match up something to, to worry about. Whereas... For Liverpool, it's these three are very mobile, and Firmino isn't just over there. He's very risk, risk restricted. He may be here if Robertson and Trent want to put that ball in, but most of the time, 80% of the, of the time, 70% of the time, he's a bit more restricted, always mobile, bringing in because what he wants is the ball to feet and to bring in Mane and Salah for a little ball to thread through. So I think taking everything into account, I think Liverpool are favourites for this game. Um, and I'm probably going to say... See, I was going to say 2-2. I was going to say 2-2. And I still believe that. But then I was thinking to myself, 3-2? Could it be... I'm going to stick with... Because I was going to say 3-2 to Liverpool. I was going to say 3-2 to Liverpool. But I think there are going to be goals in this. I think Liverpool are going to beat up Arsenal really badly in this. But I do think that Arsenal can, can get some, some Gs. Because... I think Liverpool will try to attack, and I think Arsenal can cut them off of guard. But I don't think Arsenal have enough to, to beat Liverpool, especially at Anfield. So I'm going to say 2-1. I'm going to say 2-2. Or it could be a 3-2 to Liverpool. Again, look, that's just my thing. Maybe 3-2 to Liverpool, or maybe 2 -1. So if I'm going to pick one, I'm going to stick with 2-2 to, 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 to Liverpool. But whatever the case may be, watch for my instant post-match reaction um, after the game, and maybe afterwards my post-match analysis. Remember to become a Patreon for extra content, and remember to subscribe to the channel. Peace out, stay true, stay real. Peace out. Support your boy HH and become a patron. Click in the description box below and gain extra content based on the tier of 
patronage you acquire. Click on the description box below to learn more. Thanks for your support. Peace out.